Gestures, gestures, gestures. It seems like everyone's doing gestures now. Granted, the Palm Pre did it quite well back in the day. I know Mr. Mobile, you're thinking about that. But today, we're gonna see who's done it better between the Google Pixel 2 running Android P beta with the new gestures and the iPhone 10. Yes, both of them have gesture features, especially when it comes to navigating around your home screen. And we'll see, you know, which is better. So let's jump in. So let's start off with the Pixel 2 XL with the new Android P gesture features. That will be coming, of course, to all um, Android devices down the line, but the beta is also available for uh, a select few third-party manufacturers. So go ahead and download it. We'll have the link for you guys down below. Um, first thing you notice is the home button. It's a single home button. There's no back, there's no multitask, but you still have gesture features that do a lot of that for you with the home button. So if you swipe up, that takes you straight to your multitask, actually. So it takes you to your most recent applications and you can scroll through and swipe through wherever you want. You can also see that a back button does show up so you can still use the back button functionality by tapping that. So if we swipe up again, we're back here. Now, if you wanna do split screen, it's very simple. You can tap on top of the icon of whatever application and split screen that and you can go ahead and select through different applications as well to do that split screen. Again, I can hit the back button and take that away and I can also close that up. So if I swipe up, just to show you, if I swipe up once, I have this multitask area and I swipe up a second time, that gives me, takes me into my app tray. Swipe down and down takes me back to the app. Hit the home button, takes me home from whatever location I'm in. I can always tap the home button to go home. Now, if you swipe across the home button, left or right, that gives you quick access to multitask right there. So you can go through any application and it also gives you this uh, force feedback. So you actually feel each carousel window moving slowly or you can speed it up or you can go fast, a little faster, not too fast, but uh, there you have it. And that's the access for you right there. A very simple, sweet, uh, fast motion. I think something that a lot of people get used to because it's not so difficult and you'd still have access to all the things you use. Plus your notification icon is not interfered with this in any form or fashion. So let's go ahead and check out the iPhone. Now doing the same thing on the iPhone 10, uh, the swipe up gesture is from the very bottom underneath your, your, at least your pinned applications. So you wanna swipe up and hold that takes you to your multitask and you can go through the different applications. And if you want to basically close that application, you want to definitely hold down. And then you can now close out any of the applications. I can close out Instagram. I can go here and close out Light Spectrum and so on and so forth. Or I can just basically tap and then swipe up to go back home. So there's, there is some learning curve there. Now you have that quick access to your recent applications by swiping at the bottom here, and that gives you a one-to-one -one swipe within, within each application. So you go from application to application to application. So that's a different feature there, and you can swipe up. Now because of that on iOS, you don't no longer have the, the action center at the bottom. You pull that up from the top, top right-hand corner, pulls that up for you and your notifications are top left hand corner. So there's a differentiation because of that change. Now, it's something you get used to, it's not hard, uh, but again, this feature is a little bit interesting. Now, I think just because there is no physical home button and there's no location that says, just swipe up from there can be difficult for some people, but I think it's something that people can get used to quite well. So there you have it guys, both gestures look very simple enough to you get used to, but I will say that for me, the fact that I've only used Android P gestures for only a couple of hours, I found it more intuitive and much easier to use than the iPhone 10. Now the iPhone 10 gestures I had said before in my iPhone 10 video is something you would get used to. I think the winner here is the fact that Google placed a home button and something that mentally you can see and basically start your gestures from, whether it's swiping up, twice or swiping down either to access your app tray or going to multitask or even just swiping across the home screen to jump into your of course your previously open application that is a very simple idea and i think it works much better than what we have on the iphone 10 where there is no home button and you have to basically swipe from the very bottom edge so again to me the android p gestures work and they're much easier and i've had an easier time using it over the last six or seven hours. So if you agree with me, leave your thoughts. If you disagree, tell me why you think 
the iPhone 10 gestures are much better and much easier. And also, if you are like the Mr. Mobile and think the Palm Pre gestures were much better, leave your thoughts as well. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment. Thank you.